telling you, you can bounce back and finish strong. Johnny's mama came up them stairs and said, what you doing, boy? Johnny said, I'm walking, mama. I'm walking. He was limping like you might be limping. But he was walking. Johnny was walking. I'm telling you, you can bounce back and finish strong. I'm telling you, you can come back. I'm telling you, you can live your dream. I'm telling you, you can break through your glass ceiling and reach in the lion's mouth and take what belongs to you. I'm telling you, you deserve to be successful. I'm telling you, it's your inheritance. I'm telling you, you're going to rock your box. This year, you're going to bounce back and finish strong. You're going to rock that box. You're going to get out of that box. You're going to start calling those things that be not. You're going to crystallize what it is you want to accomplish. You're going to write it down. You're going to diversify your gift so that you can market them to the world and not to a specific demographic. You're going to fine tune yourself. You're going to strengthen yourself. You're going to watch your diet. You're going to work out because it's time for you to bounce back and finish strong. It's time for you to rock the box, baby. It's time for you to get out that box. I'm here to tell you that you can make it. I'm here to tell you, you can knock down those obstacles. In spite the fact that nobody may be chiming in and telling you you can do it, you tell yourself you can do it. I'm Tommy Whitlow. One of the things that resonated with me this evening was Johnny, little Johnny. He saw himself walking. Regardless of what his mother said, get back in that box. He, when she put him in front of the mirror, he could see himself. And he didn't see himself anymore as a crippling, caged up in that box. He saw himself, I can walk. And he kept trying and trying regardless of what anyone said. He saw himself walking. And the lesson for me is how I see myself, not how others perceive me, but how I see myself. And I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Hey, you can have a presentation, right? And you can have a performance, right? And you can also have an experience. What Michael Diamond did here tonight was an experience, and it's too bad that you weren't here to see it. Because he used words, and we know how great words are, but words are only 7% of the communication. The rest of it was awesome. He got all up in your spirit. He could, like, in your bones, where you could feel Michael Diamond saying what he was saying, doing what he was doing. And as he was sharing... I was experiencing what he was saying, just like everybody in the room. So Michael Diamond, hats off to you, brother. Those diamond drops must have hit the floor hard because they were heavy. Oh, right. Hi, I'm Luana Parker, and I'm with Courage to Love Your Dreams, and I am in awe of Michael Diamond. I heard him speak this evening, and he has some marvelous things to say. I mean, real diamonds that he shared with us today. I love the see it, believe it, and receive it part that you share with us because I recently experienced that. I've seen it in the past, but for the first time I experienced it a couple of months ago just from what you said. You got to see it. You have to hear this man speak. The words that come out of his mouth and the way he puts it in story form. You can't miss the message that he is sharing with you. I love the story of Johnny because Johnny had a vision of himself and what he could do and he didn't let what the doctor said and what his mother says stop him and in the end he bounced back and finished strong oh, so yeah. i am lorena parker with courage to live your dream thank you michael thank you for watching another edition of the diamond series if you want more information on product offers or want to know when michael's going to be in your area just call the number on your screen or write to us and let Michael Diamond take you to the next level. I think that he is really out there to help a lot of the people, and they really want what he has to give them. In fact, I'm encouraging all my suppliers to use Michael Diamond, and the reason being is because I'm hoping that he can do for them what he did for my organization. It taught me a lot about putting more positive into my life and not sabotaging myself, and it was a very good motivational seminar. Not only is he discussing a dream that's important to him, but it's one that can be shared throughout the world. People have a compassion about something, and that's what his focus was.